Welcome to Diggin' SoCal. I just drove, I don't know how many hours, probably six hours, seven hours. I left at about one o'clock in the morning and I am now in the Sacramento area and I will be hunting all week. Not a whole lot though, but I will put everything together in one video. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I have a productive week. I hope to meet up with Robert and Roger at one point and uh, do some bike riding. That'd be fun. Anyway, I'll bring you up on the first target. All right, I'm getting a uh, red 2324. I've been finding bobby pins on those numbers, but I've been digging the reds too. You just never know. There it is. What the heck? My first find at a park is fishing tackle. Now that's a head scratcher. There's no water here. Nowhere near me. I just found a fishing weight and next to it, a hook. So they were together, basically. They were about uh, six or eight inches apart. Very interesting find in the park. All right, I can't help myself. I have to do this. Hopefully I don't knock over the, I don't know how far it's gonna go. Let's set this up. And let's go for it. Uh, we, uh, high 30s right here. I had to find a second hook fish hook, one of the red ones, so that was two red fish hooks in that location. Ooh. It's got a ring. I don't know if it's broken or not. It seems awfully sharp right there. There might have been something on that. That's okay though. And it looks costume, bling, but uh, it didn't take me very long to get a ring. Nice. I'll double check it, but I'm guessing it's just a uh, blinger. Can't figure out what's on it though. It looks like a face. Anyway, pretty cool. All right, I had a 25 in the sand here and I just found a hand. Nice little helping hand. Hey, little thing. Hmm. I don't think it's silver, but uh, that's pretty cool. Well, I got a real strong set here, and then I just noticed this. Um, that's not even buried. Look at this. <laughs> that's ring number two. I think it's a, it's a mood ring, too. Look at that change colors like that I love my mood rings now it's all blue that's crazy that's a great find but there's something right here and I bet it's a toy put the ring away real quick that was just too jumpy of a signal too loud yep starting off really good got a car is that it Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Best friends another, forever. Another mood ring. Look at this. Oh, ho, ho. dude, double score. Wow. That is awesome. Sweet. This was definitely a good stop. Getting another signal right next to the uh, car and the ring, so it's probably another car. Be nice, two rings, two cars would be. Oh, yeah, dang, that's just the uh, cement rebar, probably. But dude, I'm on a roll. That's a nice hot rod. Hmm, coin or car? Let's see. I'm guessing coin. 
There it is. Nice shiny quarter. So I just have a little coin spill back here. Four coins. And uh, I picked up two more quarters out of the sand and now another target. Maybe two, maybe two, we'll see. Whoa. Oops. Wow. That's a nice car. Let's see, was there another one here? Oh, twins. Anything else? Dang. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Put a light on them. All right, got a nice signal right here. Nice and early in the morning. Try to beat the heat. Here we go. Oh, it's not a quarter. I thought it was going to be a quarter. A dollar coin. Wow. Very cool. So I'm trying to beat the heat. Like I said earlier, um, I can only hit one or two parks. And it's already starting in the morning. At When I got up at 5, it was already 75 degrees, 72 degrees. But I got probably multiple targets right here at the bottom of this tube slide. So we'll get down here and check them out. I see a coin. Penny. Obviously something right here too. Penny. Don't tell me it's just be a bunch of pennies. Penny. Wow, I can't even set this thing down. Maybe over there I can set it. There you go. A nickel. That's four coins. All right, let's double check it. All right. Eight cents. Better than no cents. Ooh, so I'm actually uh, at my brother's softball game. Grown men playing softball. They take it real seriously. I think they've, uh, on a tournament this weekend, they've won three, lost one. But I had a target right here. Let me see if I can relocate it. 88, 89. Of course, this is what I'm doing at the game. Take advantage. There's a coin right here, I bet you. Oh, I see it. It's not even deep. All right. Got a quarter. That was my brother. Woo! Oh no. Alright, I just had a little find here. Probed it out. Uh, I thought it was just a piece of um, can slaw, but it looks like a little fish. It's got a hole on that side. Hole on that side. That's a pretty cool little find. Seventy seven seventy eight here. I'm guessing dime, but doesn't seem deep. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. I thought I saw something, but maybe it's just me. Hmm. I thought I saw a flash of silver, but I think it was just a grass. All right, let's pr actually probe it now. I can feel it now. Yeah, there it is. There it is. A dime. 
All right, I just probed up a 15 and uh, got this clip, part of a piece of jewelry. Little things I'm finding, but just taking my time, looking for the good stuff in between the bottle caps and pull tabs. All right, I just, uh, I'm excited. I just probed up a uh, 1617 and uh, look at this. Persistence pays off. Oh, I got a ring. Look at this. Nice. Awesome find. Good numbers too. I bet it's real. I hope so. Oh my gosh. I've been really working this area just while I was watching the game. And uh, grass is great. I'll double check it and let you know. I'm working on another uh, 1617. I just popped this out. I'm not even sure what I got. But I don't think it's what's causing the noise. It's a little character. Cute. But I'm still getting a signal down here. So let's hold that back again. Dig a little bit more of this out. I'm trying. Hmm. Awfully deep. Or on this side. There it is. That is a nickel. Been there a while. Along with this little guy. Very cool. Double check the hole. Yep, got it. All right, it is a new morning. I'm out here hunting before it gets hot. And I got my first uh, target. It came in the mid 40s. Not really sure what it is yet. It looks like jewelry, but you can see I uncovered this. It's oh, it's not even that long. I thought it was gonna be longer. Almost like a fishing lure. Interesting. All right, my battery died earlier last time, but uh, I'm on a pretty solid number here. Mostly 45. I've got a lot of 45s. Where are you? Oh, I see it, I see it. Awesome. That's nice. A little uh, small ring, actually. Pretty small in size. Very cool. That is ring number five on this trip. Crazy. All right, let's keep going. Well, I came across a park that I've never been to before. That's pretty cool. And I got my first target. I would see 52, 53. Ooh, I got a ring. Hey, I had something like this before. Looks copper, but that's pretty cool. Um, I'm working the uh, edge first. A lot of, I figure a lot of people sit there and watch their kids play, so I'm going to go all the way around the edge. Then I'll work my way in, so it'll take me a little while. But uh, that's not a bad start, that's for sure. Ring number six, this is great. Can I get to ten? Who knows? I'll get a real faint signal here, and I just kept working my way down deeper, and I see a little chain bracelet, whatever, down here. Wow. All right, that's kind of a little cool little thing. Got a heart on it. What does that say? It just says charm? Okay. That was deep. All right. We're getting a uh, 27, 28, 26. It's right in the nickel range. And there you have it. Not one, I see, but two nickels. Oh, look at this. Three, four, five nickels. Dang. More. Six. Dang. Oh, and a penny. I see another nickel, too. Right here. 
Wow, this is awesome. What the heck? Another one, another one. I lost count. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Another, another, another. Penny. Wow, this is a big coin spill. This is pretty cool. Another nickel. What is up with the nickels? Another one? Oh my gosh. Well, I think I got them all, maybe. We'll double check here. Oops. Set that down for a minute. Wow. Yeah, but I think I got them all. <clears throat> now that's a handful of coins in one spot. Sweet. All right, this just came in as a 10. I'm not really sure if it's old or not. It looks like uh, almost homemade. That looks like the bottom of a swivel. A stone up here. Crazy. All right, let's keep going. I'm working behind the, between uh, all these here. Hear that sound? Definitely a different sound in there. So between these two uh, toys here, there's got to be a target because it's different than the chain. And I'm right. Got a dime. Is that it? And a penny. Let's see here. All right. That's the difference when you're working around these, these uh, poles and toys and stuff to listen to the different sounds. I know I've talked about that before, but man, eh, got 11 cents. All right, here's another target clearing this pole here. All right, that's a high tone, so it could be a quarter right here. There it is. A little, little hiding for me, a little bit. All right. Dusty, dry, getting hot. Yeah, it's funny, I stopped at this park. I was driving to a park that I had mapped out and I spotted this and I thought it was just a school, but it's a school and a park. And they, they allow you to come in here because they, they keep an opening. So, yay for me, got another ring here and uh, some nickels. Oh, that was like 70 cents in nickels and two pennies. 11, 12 right here. Usually that's gonna be garbage. 12 can be good though. Oh, there you go. Just a little clasp. Anyway, I'm almost done. Then I'll move to the park I actually mapped out. And then I'm done because it's already getting warm. I'm sweating already. No good. All right, I'm getting a 16, 17, 18 right here. Oh. I have a flower ring. Wow. I think that's seven now. Probably just a kid's ring. I don't know if I, there is something written on it. Let me uh, see if I can see this. I don't know if it's just the name of the ring or what, but I'll check. All right, I'm at another park, my final park. It's got a couple tot lots, but uh, yeah, that last ring I found was actually stamped. It said Aloha 925, so that's pretty cool. And I just found this. I thought I was digging up a nickel. I didn't see that very well. I will post a picture, but uh, it's a moon earring. So that was right here where my pinpointer's laying. 
All right. On with the hunt. All right, I just probed out an Easter egg, but it's got, it actually reacts to the detector, so I can get this through the grass. I think I, I don't know if I broke it, if it was already broken, but. Check this out. Whoops, I just spilled it. Hold on, I just dropped some coins out of it. Look at this. Got pennies in here. Let's see if I can see what I got. Whoa. That is so awesome. I'll double check. I'll pick that up in a second, but wow. There's uh, three dimes there, four dimes, pennies. I wonder how long that's been there. Look at, you can tell the discoloration of the coins. That's crazy. That was in an Easter egg. Yeah, I got them all, I think. Let's, I'll pick up all this garbage. But wow. Well, you think it's uh, August and even if it was this April, it's been a while. Pretty cool. All right, well, that was fun. I stayed out longer than I wanted to today. Um, I think I hit four or five parks and it is hot. Today, I think is the last super hot day. Then it's gonna start cooling off a little bit, maybe 10 degrees cooler. Um, but I'm gonna do some, spend some time with the family at the river and do some biking and stuff like that. So take a break from detecting. But I think I hit in three days, 12 parks. And out of those 12, I think four or five apps, we had zero fines. I mean, not even a penny. So they are detected a lot, but you just gotta keep at it and you will find good stuff. Um, as I proved both in the grass and in the tot loss, I got gold and silver on this hunt, which is really exciting. Um, did good. I think I got seven rings so far on this trip. Anyway, um, fun times. Too bad Christine can't be here. Um, she's working and I'm in the Sacramento area, so just the way it goes. So let's get to that wrap up. All right, I got this set up in my uh, sister's garage, sister and brother-in-law's garage. And uh, I did score four cars. Two of them are twinsies. Well, unfortunately, Christine's not here to do her vroom vroom, and I'm not gonna try because it's her trademark. We'll leave it at that. Hopefully when I get back, I'll find some cool stuff and she can uh, do her thing. But uh, different kind of stuff this year. I'm not really sure what it was to. It is a magnet. I got a metal pole, some sort of USB. It says the kind pen. I'm not really sure what this was supposed to be. Interesting find. Same with this, no idea what it was. It's got writing on it, but I'm not really sure. It almost looks like um, something that heats up, like that material around a pole, pipe or whatever. I'm not really sure, like I said. This nice little surface find. Actually, this came up out of the out of the top lot, no, grass, with uh, something else I found. Part of a zipper pole, surface find. Got a couple of pencils. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is. Got metal in it. A few hair products, little blinger here. And let's see here, we got some interesting stuff, but not really sure what that is. This came off, this is a heel of a shoe. It's got metal in it. A few oddities from the uh, tot lots. A uh, little piece of metal here. I'm not really sure what this was too. It could be, um, I don't think it's magnetic, but no, just a weight of some type. Um, pull tabs. And that was really strange. It, two different parks. I lost a hook. I don't know where it went. But I got one swivel, one hook, or actually two hooks in a tot lot. Then I found another swivel and two weights in another tot lot. Tot lot. That makes more sense because there was a creek nearby. Not that I, I think you can fish there. Um, this was a cool find. I left this separate from the other change. This was a Easter egg buried in the grass, and this is where the coins that came out of it. Um, I checked one of the dimes. It was this from the 70s. But uh, you can see how they're clean because they were touching each other. And then I did really good on the clad. I think I got about $9, maybe closer to 10 with the money up above. Quarters, dimes, nickels, and plenty of pennies. As you can see, some of them are really destroyed. And then you get into the fun stuff here. Look at, look at the treasures. I got a Susan B. Anthony dollar. I got this little um, bracelet that was pretty deep in the uh, tot lot. This one here is really kind of interesting. It's got, um, they look like rocks. 
So that's probably either homemade or something really unique. It's just bling, but it's still a pretty cool find. Um, pieces off of, uh, this is a label off of something that says Hawaii. This one here says Lil Sis, and it's actually a magnet on the back. I'm not sure what that was for. I got this little ring here, which I won't count. It's all bent up. A little fish. I can't really, it's hard to pick this little guy up. Pretty cool. That was in the grass. I got this one in the sand, another hand. I get these every once in a while. Um, one of my last finds, I got a uh, little moon earring, just a blinger. Same with this, this is something kind of interesting. And then I got a little a clasp. And then I ended up with um, seven rings. I've got a star with an anchor. This one's totally bling. I'm not sure what the design is. Then I got this one here, which is probably copper. I've gotten this type before, pretty cool. Got two mood rings. This one here is best friends forever. And this one's got the hearts, but if you look at these, look at the color change. I like mood rings. And then the two best finds for this hunt so far is this flower ring, which is actually stamped Aloha 925. That's pretty cool. And then the winner is a 14 karat gold ring. That is awesome. So I've scored silver and gold on this hunt. Definitely, definitely a uh, cool uh, hunt. So three days of hunting netted me some pretty good finds. And again, some of the parks are pretty brutal, but I just stuck through it and worked them. And I could tell that people hit them, especially when you get out there and you don't find anything but a little bit of foil. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. I might do one more um, set of hunts before I head back to L.A. In between my bike rides and swimming in the river. I'm looking forward to that. And getting back to Christine and Buddy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.